Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Garden Renovation Part 2. If you haven't seen part one already, you are going to need to pause this video and go and click to see part one because this is a complete garden transformation that I have broken up into two videos. I am saying two videos. I'm hoping two videos. If not, there might be three videos, but I know you guys won't be mad at that because part one was so well received. So today it is carrying on from exactly where you've seen part one finish. So we have all of the foundations and joists and noggins in for our decking. And today we are doing actually laying the decking and we are putting in our lights as well. We're also putting up the trellis on the fence. I got loads of questions about the trellis in my last video because I didn't really speak about where it was from or how we were supporting it on the fence. So I got a lot of questions about that. So I'll be showing you that today. We literally just went to the DIY store. Cue the clip here. Just come down to the local DIY store. Get in our gravel because we forgot to grab it. So we're just getting six six bags of this stuff because we need it to weight down the ground sheet. To, as you can see, pick up some gravel. So the gravel is actually for the ground sheet. We also had delivered on Thursday 10 bags of postcrete because today we are having to put in the foundation pillars into the ground and concreting them in. So yeah, I think that's all I need to say for the intro of this video. You're about to see plenty of time lapses. You're about to see, hopefully, all the way to the point that we're putting on our beautiful new rattan set today from White Stores that I am beyond excited, beyond excited to show you all. But before we crack into anything, if you do like this video, please give me a massive thumbs up. I love making this content. I think you guys absolutely love it too, but I can't see unless you click thumbs up. So please go ahead and do that. I would really appreciate it. And obviously hit the subscribe and the notification bell if you are new around here and you wanna stick around for some more home renovation, updating, interior, exterior content. Oh, guys, I'm actually buzzing. But first of all, I've got to make some breakfast, doing sausages, bacon, and hash browns to fuel to fuel the workers today. <laughs> so this is the starting point where we are at. So pretty much, I think that everything you're seeing here is what you should have seen from the end of part two. I'm not sure if you've seen all the sets that we're in, but Andy put all the sets in, which are these pieces of wood here that go between the joists. They are just extra support. And then I dug out four. 18, 16, 14, I can't remember now. We did it a little while ago. Dug out these holes. So these holes are where the posts are gonna go. So these are our three by three posts of treated um, timber. So they're gonna go straight in there and then be drilled into the sets. So they've got really good foundation basing. Then that's the trellis, which I think I showed you last time. It's all painted, it's all ready to go up. This is the actual composite. So this is from a company called Ultra Decking. We did shop round and we really liked the look of these guys. The delivery was expensive on it and the composite itself is very expensive. Oh, hello, Bubba. But we decided to go the more expensive route because we didn't want to go for wood because wood you have to treat every single year it's more prone to decay. Obviously the foundations are wood, yes, but these are, again, we went for the more expensive, high quality treated timber. I think these are C24. Um, we were gonna go for C19, but we went for C24 treated timber. So these guys should not, they should not rot whatsoever, even though they're placed on the ground, um, but they are placed on ground sheets as well. So not directly on the soil, if you know what I mean. We went for this composite, which is beautiful. We really liked that it was, um, like had the wood effect on it, but obviously we've always wanted gray. So we really like it's got the wood effect on it. I'll show you later on, cause I can't lift it myself. Cause like one plank is quite heavy, but the other side has got basically a different design. So it's fully up to you of how you want to use it. But we ordered this one, which is a little bit more of a, again, it's their middle range. So it's not their cheapest and it's not their most expensive composite that they do. So we went for this one. We then have over here 10 bags of postcrete so postcrete we decided to go for again because if you've never heard of this before apparently it's fantastic my dad said it's the drying time as you can see it literally sets in five to ten minutes and it just is way quicker than concrete these again obviously are more expensive than buying concrete concrete is so so cheap to buy in bags but um this isn't expensive it's just you're paying 
obviously a bit more for the convenience of time. And then these are what we just picked up from the local convenience store, just some random gravel. We're just using that to keep the ground sheet weighted down. So once we've like done all the posts and sealed it all in, we're basically just gonna chuck all of these bags of gravel, bought six bags of them. There were three for 9.99, so really affordable. Chuck them all down and then we have got it all weighted down and hopefully secure and then on this table here we have all the bitty bits so in this bag here we've got 500 decking clips which just look like this um so we just use that with one screw they go between all of the um decking so as you can see the little slat here goes in between like that and it holds them all together and in place and it's nice and discreet so we went with these plastic ones 500 of them and then in here is the starter clips which you only need a few of them for because that's to connect them to the sides of the actual frame and then very excitingly these are the lights that i went for for the decking so i got this from the same company we got our chandeliers from in our bedroom first choice lighting i've always had really good experience with them so we ended up going for the 45 millimeter warm white outdoor step proof lights because these are going in the ground where people could step on them they're a really nice color they're all individual so you can choose how many you want they do packs of 10 and packs of 20 we picked up 20 of them i think we should only need 18 or 19 and then i've also picked up wherever it's gone here a smart plug so we can plug this in plug these in which are going to be run into the garage electrics and we can hook it up with our google so we can tell google to turn on the decking lights so that's the overview mum and dad are on their way i've got the bacon cooking in the oven which i've realized i gotta turn off now because it's gonna be crispy okay it's very very crispy okay oh, all the posts oh, are cut oh, and in oh, the ground and he's been sent off to the diy shop to get some more screws so i thought i'd film just doing one of the post creeps so you can see so i got the hose Quarter ones are important. Right, get a okay. And this is what it looks like in that's about three minutes, I would say. Three, four minutes. Wait up, ain't got no time for that. Stayed up, I was hoping that you would change your ways Wake up, you blew your final chance Make up, I'm trying but I cannot be mad at you All the post crate is down now, I'm nicely drying And over here, you might see come through in a minute As you can hear from the noise, Jerry's very concerned my dad's got a massive drill on the other side of this wall. Oh, so loud! <laughs> You're not happy. Oh, something sounds like it's not working. Ah! There it is. Got it! <laughs> 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 okay, so we're just having a little coffee break, all of us. Dad just flipped over on the decking, so I tried to show you earlier, but obviously I couldn't do it. So this is the decking on the other side. So it looks like this on the other side. Okay, so it is currently nearly three o'clock. It is nearly three o'clock. And 
we had encountered as you would a bit of um a bit of an error so when the plan was with these they come at 3.6 meter planks so it was always going to be a 3.6 meter plank and then an off cut however when we laid that down we realized that the finishing of the 3.6 meters would have left it hollow so it wouldn't have been on a joist so I'll show you what I mean. So as you can see, they, Dad and Andy have now cut this plank so it ends on a joist. So basically the 3.6 meters ended like that, which obviously you can't have because if you were to stand on it, that's completely manageable. It's got no support and it could break and it will break the composite and it will certainly bend it. So it has to finish on a joist. So what it's now meant is unfortunately there's double the amount of cutting because obviously every plank needs to be cut. Thankfully, Dad went to go check this. We were actually just doing the calculations for the decking lights that are going along here. Thankfully, we realized it because Dad was about to cut all of the pieces like this. We actually started cutting them, but thankfully he realized in time. So we should still have plenty of boards. We did order a couple of extra boards anyway, just in case. As you can see, this is the, the ones with the masking tape are the templates. So we've got four different sizes of boards now so it's, a, it's getting a much more complicated i hope that all makes sense it's a bit confusing obviously we've been in this we're, we're at three o'clock we, we didn't think we'd be here at three o'clock um because we have to call it a day at about five o'clock because both of us are going out this evening um so thankfully we've got tomorrow but we did think we'd be a lot further ahead than this so these things happen they just do but we just got a hope we can crack loads on these last couple of hours and then um, obviously tomorrow have a full, full day. Dad's having a stretch because that was a lot on his back cut and all of that but that's all cut there obviously there's a bit at the end which we're just working out because we've got these planks left I've just done a little spread for it's not even lunch it's 401 so little spread of snacks the most unhealthy <laughs> snacks but it doesn't matter they're easy and quick to cook cracking, cracking on well just measuring out where the lights are all going so we were originally gonna go all the way around, but we've decided now that we think actually having more, but like this will be a good idea because then underneath that fascia over here, we're gonna get some LEDs as well to basically strip all underneath. So I think oh, that that'll look quite nice. Yeah. Is it perfect? Yeah, that will look, nice. look awesome. you told me they got me moving forward and all the times that we disagreed just cut my respect deeper i'm feeling that we are something really oh special when i look back on us it's starting to sink in don't want it to be Okay, and that concludes day one. Just at the start of clips on that. And it is now going on six o'clock. So we're gonna continue on tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is now garden renovation day two, and we have woken up to, as you can see, a little bit of sunshine. So hopefully that's gonna stay put today. This is what the decking's looking like today. Obviously a lot of it's down, but it's not actually secure. The lights are done on one strip. They need to be done today. And also all the trellis and things need to be done today. So mum and dad are heading over for 9, 9.30. It's eight o'clock now. So I'm basically gonna crack on right now. I've got the paint out and I'm gonna crack on with just painting this edging here. It's gonna need a couple of coats, but because these aren't secured down at the moment, 
I just think it's a good idea to start painting that now. The annoying thing is I'm gonna actually go around the edge first with my scissors and just cut the grass like on this edging bit. I tried to do it with the strimmer when I was doing the garden, but you just can't get quite perfectly in. So I'm just gonna go in and do that, get my brush and just brush off any of the excess grass or anything. And we're just gonna go ahead and paint these two sides the first thing. Jerry's making full use of the decking already. He's uh, not willing to wait till it's finished. He's uh, <laughs> you startled him. He's ready to start enjoying the sunbathing. So I finished painting both sides. Obviously this is just one coat, but I mean, it looks 10 million times better already. Um, oh, it looks like Andy's also not, he can't wait to enjoy the decking either. <laughs> you gonna do we're doing it all the feeling is so maybe you got me believe in the magic we're doing it all the feeling is so maybe you got me so me and andy have done 20 rows of securing down so this is all solid and done now as you can see where it goes all wonky we've still got that to do dad's been doing the start to the trellis and mum mum's painted it um you can't see much at the minute but there's just a little row of um wood at the top there so a lot of you asked me where i got this trellis from so this is obviously the color it came i then painted it this color and that is how it's going to look so dad's just put a single little bit of wood on the top there and sorry this wood is from a company called fencing direct it was actually really affordable per slat the delivery was quite expensive though so altogether we got about six boards of these for 100 pounds but it is treated timber so it is good quality yeah. stuff it's from a proper fence company so i'm really happy with that i really like as well the amount of privacy it's going to give us because the slats obviously have very small holes in between them small gaps sorry so the way we're securing this is literally so it's, as you can see just a strip dad's put one little strip of wood here and then actually on the reverse side of the fence it's easier to show you over here this is what's actually on the other side so you can see there's a thick bit of wood which dad noticed so it's going to be the bottom bit's going to be drilled into that bit of wood and then obviously a bit of the frame will be drilled into that top bit of wood so it's got as much stabilization as it is actually i think it's going to look super modern with all the slats all the gray it's taken a really boring wooden fence and actually made it you know really good part of the garden and really modern to match in theme with everything so yeah me and andy are gonna crack on with this like i said we're over halfway done all the lights are in let's go What time is it, Andy? 1.30. And we're all having a beer. Thank you and well done. Cheers. Dad's just doing the final edging bit, but it is done. Thank goodness. Now I say done, obviously we do need to like finish. We need to get some edging for here and we need to finish another couple of coats of paint on the um, wood on the outside, but it is done. It, you can stand on it, you can walk on it, and most importantly, you can put furniture on it. So I'm so excited to be saying that I'm working with white stores in this video. And I had a delivery come the other day, probably the biggest delivery of my life because yeah. I'm gonna unbox all of this with you guys on camera. We're gonna do it over a time lapse as well. And I have been itching to see what it's gonna look like in this space. It's just going to look so, so perfect. So let's unbox this beautiful beautiful rattan dining set from white stores Believe in 
The feeling is so Baby, you got me And we are done. I am so excited that we actually got to this point in this video. I was really hoping we would and it has been achieved. I'm gonna give you a final walkthrough of the complete garden makeover transition that you have seen over these two videos. This is a little bit cheeky. It's, I say complete, I'm pretty sure there will be a part three because you know me, no project is ever complete, come on. I am definitely going to get, I think I mentioned to you guys in vlogs ago, all along here on the border and all the way around to the corner there, I want a raised bed. So we're thinking of doing that with like breeze blocks and just raising off the ground a bit. It's just a case of when we're gonna do that. I don't think it's gonna cost a fortune, it's just gonna be time and effort. And obviously we kinda just wanna enjoy this summer now. This has been a huge project, a huge job. So because this is a transformation video, to also conclude, I am going to do a quick clip here of what the garden looked like originally and where I'm standing and how it used to look, how simple and plain it used to be and then what it looks like now. As you can see, what a vision. It's just stunning and I am so fortunate. I can't believe this is mine. So I'm gonna flip the camera around to conclude this video and give you a little bit of a garden tour. Okay, so as you open my back door, this is now what you see. As you can see, it is a really sunny day today. Oh, as I say that, the sun goes in. Perfect, not too much sun. Um, we still have a massive, massive section of grass. So as you can see, this is Jerry's domain. It's a lovely rectangle now, so it's nice and easy. We do have this little strip down the edge, which to be honest, I might just for the meantime, dig out and put some edging around and start my flower bed in there. And then it just goes down and we wanted a little strip in between. now. Andy was kind of keen to do the decking all the way to the edge, but I think it looks better kind of floating and I feel like it's more landscaped with the greenery that divides the patio with the decking. So we went with that. In phase, next year's phase or the phase after, so 2023 or 2024, we are going to be replacing these slabs here. So these are the ones that came with the house. So they're going to be replaced for a gray um, slate looking slab and obviously we will be replacing these stones as well I really like the stones on the edge of the house but we're gonna make these like white stones I think to contrast with lovely gray decking so you can kind of see how that will be pulled in and then of course we're going to come on to the decking so this is a little clip of what this looks like at night time it is just beautiful with the decking lights, um, you know, showing up and looking stunning. I told you guys in the video earlier where they were from, that was first choice lighting. They're really perfect size. They're nice and, you know, not too big, not too small. This is the bigger of the two sizes they did. So these are the 45 mil, I definitely recommend them. And then we come around, I've got those little balls I showed you from my last video. And we have this the star of the absolute show. This is the Deluxe Cambridge Casual Dining Corner Sofa Set with a fire pit table, and I could not be more happier with this. This is from an incredible company, literally garden goals company online called White Stores. I'm so excited to say that I'm working with them in this video and I am so impressed with this set. So they do so many different variations of it. We've got the beautiful gray upholstered cushions. These are fantastic fabric. They obviously are um, fire resistant as well. So these are so, so thick material. They're going to last. I mean, even if you left this out, like in the rain, which obviously I won't be doing, they would, they're completely resistant. They are really good quality. And then the actual rattan underneath is a lovely sort of like washed gray color. So it goes in perfectly with of course the actual composite and the cushions. This is the table and it's got a nice glass, really thick, heavy glass top. And then inside, as you can see, this is the cover that goes over the stones which you've seen me put in earlier on the video. The stones are just beautiful. It's like cracked mirrored glass and I'm obsessed with it. And what's great about this is the stones actually cover the circular element. So when it's burning, you don't just see it burning out of the circular element. It just looks like all the rocks are on fire. We also have the safety glass. This is just completely, you know, removable. You can take it on or off if you want, but obviously if you've got kids or anything like that, this is so perfect just to make sure that there's no accidents or anything. What's great 
right about the cover as well, not just for keeping everything nice and fresh with the rocks and everything and protecting all the, you know, the fire mechanism. You can just remove this glass and once you remove that, you then actually have a full dining table. So if you're doing kind of a spread for people and you want to put loads of food in the middle, it doesn't have to be a fire table because obviously in the day, in the sun like this, there's no point in having a fire on. So it just allows it to be dual use, but then at night time it will look insane. So this, I would say, comfortably seats nine people. You could get one, two, three, four, five, and then obviously six, seven, eight, nine on here, but you could definitely squeeze in more. So this set is absolutely beautiful. It's incredible, and I am absolutely obsessed. So I will leave the link to this down below, and I've also got an exclusive discount code. Right now, the discount code is 11% off, and it's on the screen here for you. This is gonna be changing all the time, so make sure you're following me over on my Bella Bambina homepage on Instagram because I will be posting every month if there's any updates on any coupon codes you will find them on the latest post on my Instagram page. So we've got another one of those little balls here which as you know I got the little plant pot from Aldi and then I got the actual ball from Home Bargains and then I have my compass which I just absolutely love. I will try and link this down below if it's still available on the Home Bargains website. It might not be. When I went to go order this though it was £10 delivery so although it's only £14.99 do check in your local stores first. Then have a little cooking area over here so we've got our pizza oven. And we've got our barbecue. The barbecue's not even been used yet. I can't wait to do some outdoor dining. I've always envisioned this area as the cooking area. So I might get like on the wall, put up some hooks and then I can hang like the tongs and the, the you know, the barbecue utensils. I think that could look really, really cool. Then if we step down, I definitely need to do some patchwork on this grass because this grass has suffered throughout the renovations. Because obviously the entrance is there coming in. We've, we've literally, dropped so much on here. Also ignore all this wood, my dad's taking all of this later on. And then we come round and this is our little outdoor lounge set. So you've got your dining area and you've got your lounge area now. So I've spoke all about this before, but the rug itself is actually, this is what I showed you guys in my haul, but out, it looks so beautiful. This is the Home Bargains 999 rug absolutely love the way it pulls the space in together this is jerry's favorite spot as well like that is his little seat there it's so cute actually he like has made that his own seat he just sunbathes there all the time we've also put up our um fence solar lights these came on last night actually and they were really bright i got those in home bargains at the beginning of the year i think they were only like two pound a piece and then just over here honestly this is just kind of an area that needs to be worked on as well we have this um, storage trunk which in there is where we keep our lawnmower and then i just have some odd bits of my plants which i'm going to obviously eventually put actually into the ground. I better address it as well because I've just seen it, but this is one piece that's left over of our trellis that's at the top there. And I will be putting that like on a wall or somewhere. So my plan is to have like my rose plant or my ivy um, sort of like growing up it. So we're gonna put it like on the wall there somewhere, but I haven't quite decided yet. There are all my granddad's tools that need to go back to him. So guys, that is the garden tour. That is the complete garden renovation. I hope you have enjoyed these two videos. I have loved making them so so much it has been such a process it's been amazing to learn about how to do this i am so lucky to have my dad who knows about these things my dad's not a builder by the way or anything he's an engineer so he he just kind of likes to make sense of structure which is probably why he's so good at knowing what to do he's one of those people that you know if he can't do it himself he'll learn like that's just what we are and I think it's it's definitely come through into my blood as well so yes I cannot wait to enjoy this garden thank you guys so much for watching remember to follow over on my home Instagram account like I've shown you all to keep up to date with everything that is it from me I'm gonna finish up this video now with just a little montage of some of the night shots of how stunning this garden looks at night would you stay till the morning light or would you follow me or would you let it be if I leave tonight, we could do this right We'll find the remedy Or would you stay with me now Till the morning light Before you turn away I just want you to know That I didn't throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind That I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here